awaken puppets of geppetto and welcome fans new and loyal to your next installment of the lies of p platinum all achievements guide so here we are krat central platform so in the previous video we got to here we learned some bit more about uh, aladoro from hugo we did some tidying around uh, we've got the two dragon sword which we did a little bit of upgrading into ready for our crat making our way back to where it all started essentially that's what we're doing so first and foremost hugger over here we're not going to go for a cheeky backstab because there is that drop pod up top there so rope and bop trigger the drop trap that's going to get an enemy and remember similar to the last video with these they will explode on death so just make sure you jump back and you don't get caught in that explosion for damage plus decay get your saw tooths and for this one Normally, when you throw, you're going to catch the upper beam. So you're going to come over to here by the boxes. And then you can hit it that way. Use your rope. Back. And at the end of the last video, we went to Marlam for some extra thermites, which we're going to use in a moment. Let's just use a sawtooth on this last trap. Hugger has seen, he's running, he's running, he's running. And once he's done his hug, we can then get to the in. Box is exploder and it should be back. There we go. Uh, we don't go to the end yet. No, take a left onto this platform, go left again. And going for a vantage point, equip thermites and sharp pipes. For this big enemy, we're going to use four thermite and three sharp pipe. Three, and then if need be sawtooth but the burn should do the last bit of damage nope sawtooth there we go so for these ones it's going to be thermite and sawtooth there we go Which leaves just that one more. So for him, we're going to use a sawtooth on this blob. That's going to stop the gas and then get a plunge attack. There we go. Now we can come here, open the chest for a quartz. Fire canister over here. And then up the ladder. Obviously for yourselves, grab all the floor loot from those enemies as well. As I've mentioned in my videos, I'm not grabbing random enemy drops so that I don't have access to items that you are not guaranteed to have access to. To get rid of an item that you've got no, none of, select any other item. So I always go for the pocket watch and then press square to then unequip it. And that's how we get rid of those keep our inventory nice and tidy. Right, that done, we can now move onward. Pop these crates. Lock on, we're going to get a plunge and then we're going to quickly do a rope on that second hugger there. Move. And that way we avoid getting grabbed. Grab the chain. Uh, 
Get your sawtooth ready. As you can see, there is a hanging carcass there. What? What? You're, you're, you're supposed to fall down. I must have hit the train instead. Either way, he's going to walk down. Weird. And for the spewer, enhanced rope. Does that. After you've done that, uh, there's no item. No, no, no. Item. For this section, I like to equip the twin dragon sword. We're going to be in quite a narrow area, so there's lots of ways that we could end up hitting the walls, which we don't want. So, the enemy that you can see in the distance there, what he does is he does a ground attack that hits you from under from underneath, even at full range. So that's our priority. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to this door and we are just going to rush to that enemy at the back. There he is, through the door. As you can see, I am not afraid to use my heal. Oh wow, I am blocked in this corner. There we go. Heal and come on. Stop screaming. There we go. Bit of a chaotic area that, so as you can see, most of the time you swing you're gonna hit a wall. Priority is on that enemy through the door at the end here. Use this exit as a way of getting your healing, and then you've got to deal with the mob. Come through here and grab the shot put, and now we're going to re-equip our axe blade. Uh, out and left, sawtooth on the gas blob. Grab purification and pure sawtooth. The next gas blob. Grab a radiant ergo. So these are puppets that have carcasses infesting inside of them. So they are slightly stronger than normal. We need rope to make sure that we fight the first two. And that means that it's then a one-on-one -on -one on the last one. Keeping it nice and easy. Up would we go. And we're going to open this shortcut. Which leads back to the Stargazer before we deal with this. And yeah, we're going to rest at the Stargazer. So... You'll recognise this is where we dropped down. Let's use the Stargazer. Right. Out, and we're going to make our way back to where we just came from. the beam and we're now where we just opened so big enemy at the end is the last thing that we need to do so we're going to be careful to not trigger that enemy let's 
going to say, where are the drop traps? Didn't go too far forward, did I? Making sure... There we go. Okay. So in this case, they can see me. Answer to try and get a uh, big slam on. Charge attack, fatal, and then back. The big enemies you can get an enhanced charged rope. You're going to be able to deal with most most of them, to be honest. So, and with him now dealt with, we can trigger this. But the key thing is we don't want to get we don't want to have to fight these exploding enemies and the big guy at the same time basically. That is your worst case scenario. Grab the radiant ergo. And tangle that up. Two huggers in this section. Let them come to us. Because they're eventually going to run out of money. And then we can just finish them off. Oh no. Oh, I just got away with that one. Letting the decay wear down. Because we're going to grab a demo ago. Notes, dim ergo, and now we're going to go through the gates, ready for our big scorpion. So, get your grindstone, which is the block grindstone. As you can see, there's the scorpion. Apply your indomitable, and then let's try and get an No. Oh, no, no. Heal. Charge and stack. There we go. Gets up. Then we can pass through. Stat does so much damage. And there we go. Drops the murderous puppet amulet, which auto picks up for you. Back into here. Sawtooth. Keep going, don't worry about the spewers for now. Grab the radiant chunk. And for now, we're just going to get out of there. Use the blue ampule. Did grab the ergo in the corner? I don't know if I did now. Right. Well, let's have a look at that again. Damn it. Didn't grab that. No, come on. Pop the gas. There we go. Grab the special purification. I did grab the ergo at the back here, but then there's another ergo over here. And there we go. Back into the area where the scorpion was.
come over to here to this lady, grab the resistance ampule. Uh, this cart leads you back toward... Is this the one that leads you where you started? Hang on, make a note. Yeah, this is the train where you started. However, sadly, as a wasted opportunity, there's actually nothing waiting for you. Uh, so this is the bench. This is where we came out at the beginning. There's nothing here other than these spewers. Such a wasted opportunity, or they've just done it on purpose because they were they thought everyone was going to go, oh yeah, back at the beginning, let's go back to the chair. And yeah, there's a note, but nothing actually of any consequence. So, wasted opportunity. Up the ladder, to the right, up the ramp, nothing to the left. over to the bench for a resistant ampule and then open the gate and then you can just see through there there is the stargazer and I've got to walk to the hotel at this point so let's walk to the hotel As always, refill your fable if needed. Mine is full. Craft machine. Modify Aegis to level 2. Guard parry. Head over to Polidina and we're going no to purchase so that we have a total of 20 Sawtooth, so that's six for me I need to purchase. You may need to get more or less, depending on how many you had to throw earlier on. Head upstairs. Let's gather our fruit. Stalker. Let's get a friendship wish stone, and I would I'd suggest let's get another recovery wish stone. Or oh, do we want to advance? Let's go with advance. That's what I did in my original notes, and I'm going to stick to my original notes. So that's going to help us for... There's a couple of bosses where we can't summon spectres. So we're going to utilize the Aegis more for blocking. The advanced cube stone refills our legion mag. Here's the cat. In fact, show you an improvement on the cat. It now lets us stroke the cat. Another wasted opportunity. No trophy for when you finally get to pick up and cuddle the cat. Nose is coming along nicely there. You can actually see now it's starting to get some definition. Over to the chair. And add amulet 2. We're going to put the second one into there. And we're going to go survival auto charge pulse when discharged. So as the name suggests there, what that means now is previously when you have no pulse cells left and you successfully hit enemies, that charges up your empty pulse cell. Now that empty pulse cell will constantly charge itself without you needing to do any hits. So if you hit something, you're going to get an even bigger boost but it means now that, as a matter of time, you can fill an empty pulse cell charge once. And by once, if you use it, it will then happen again. Come down, find Sophia. We are going to spend one Radiant Ergo Chunk for 2,000. And we spend one Resplendent Ergo for 700, just in case you had to spend more on Sawtooths. 
Whatever choice you make. Level up capacity to 29. And now we're going to walk back to Chapter 9 1 Central Station Platform. Out and to the right if you're walking, that hugger won't pay any attention to you. That's how a lot of the shortcuts in this work, to be fair. Come back on yourself. Grab this Dimergo fragment. Do not attack. Do not attack in here. So, if you recall in the previous video, uh, Belle at the hotel asked us to find her partner. And here he is. Are you a stalker? The suburbs, the communications cut off. And he asks us to deliver his letter to Bell. There we go. Now we've got that. That can get us some humanity points, so long as we tell her that he was killed in action, as opposed to turning into a monster. Right. Through here is onwards. However, first we need to grab a weapon. This whole area is just one big ambush, so keep that in mind. And there's the crawler puppets. So these puppets have their own version of puppet string, worth noting. So there you go. They they fire the string and then they follow up just like we do. They pull themselves towards us and then they do a fury attack. As you might have seen there, I intentionally kept my distance so that I can use rope to make sure that I'm not having to be surrounded. If they surround you, they can just constantly stagger lock you uh, and actually do pose a risk of killing you. So, once you've done that, come around here and there is another one. Oh, I wouldn't enhance. Don't want to get hit by right here. There we go. Yeah, just respect the amount of damage they can do and you'll be fine. Open the chest for normal weapon 23 of 29, the Master's Chef Knife. Back on right, back on right, back on route, inside, up the stairs, Hugger is going to drop down from here. Grab the resplendent Ergo, up the stairs, Hugger. Two Huggers here. Make sure to use your rope. And now grab the Vivid Ergo Fragment from up there. Uh, you do take a little bit of damage from that drop, as it turns out. Right, we're going to fight an elite hunter, the Robber Weasel, inside here. So, backstab where you can. Uh, he is aggressive, he avoids uh, puppet string type attacks like enhanced rope. If you can get enhanced rope, it does a lot, as it does to everything. But yeah, so I've just used the Indomitable Grinder, and I'm going to try. Yeah, there we go, he just keeps dodging. So we're going to go for a big Fable attack as our best method. Charge attacks can try and catch him off guard. And they are your best option, because otherwise he's going to dodge. 
Whereas charge attack gets around his dodging. Ah, double dodge. Have a fable. Have a, have a shot. Hurt. There is a chance that he dodges these shot hooks. You are a gift to the needy. Oh, you dodged the backstab. Dodge that. Oh, you double dodged. <laughs> Easier when you can just use the charge attacks with a big axe. But yeah, very difficult otherwise, to be fair. Um, you know, perfect blocks need to be on point to break the weapon to at least reduce the damage. Otherwise, just focus on your normal blocking. And the fact that the rope doesn't do much in that fight makes it a bit difficult. Uh, dropped his mask and cape for anyone interested in wearing that. And you may notice this is where we fought our first ever elite of the game, uh, the police officer in here. And interestingly, these particular cases, we can't get past. Yep. Impervious. Can't get past. Yep. These are the cases that are too much. So we have to go the long way around. Grab the resplendent. Okay. Oh, four attacks. So yeah, if you see a carcass drop to their knees, that means they're doing the ground attack. So as they uh, keep moving, but just hold your block because you don't know how accurate they're going to be. These I call the divers. Don't go for a backstab, it won't work. Instead, enhance rope. And enhance rope should always kill the divers. Come around here for a fable cat. And continue on. There is a yellow butterfly. So for the yellows, two hits, block. And then finish with one or two more hits. Our chemical booster, so that will speed up the rate that the gold coin tree sprouts gold coin fruit. Grab the cat dust. Drop. And I would say get your backstab, but why would the game give me a backstab? Round here, if you recall last time there was an ambush from the left, this time there is an ambush from the stall. So walk forward while blocking and see if it's going to attack. If it does that charge, if it rushes you, you've already got your block up. But we're going to grab the Dark Moon Moonstone. Out. Out. Down there is a Trinity door, but we don't have a Trinity key, but it's worth noting that that's what that is. Here's the Stargazer. And if you wanted to go back to that room, you'll note from where the Scorpion fight was that these, you know, these suitcases, which clearly could not possibly be moved, are in the way. Have a rest. The stargazer that's just outside here is not going to be here anymore, which is why that one inside is there. Uh, left for a legion mag. 
be wary, there is an ambush hugger over there, and there is a diver up front. Make sure we pop the hugger first, and then enhance the rope. We'll finish off the diver. So we've got to stay left. And there's a puppet. And then on the other side there with the uh, larger metal item, that is what I class as a tough puppet. Um, key thing to note that is the carcass infection on him is stronger, so it's going to use carcass-style whips as extra ways of damaging us. So, enhanced. Back away. Enhanced. Block when you get staggered. That is a trap that is so easy to fall into is when enemies do attacks when they get staggered. Open the chest for normal weapon 24 of 29, the Coil Mjolnir. Over to the left, Diver, Enhanced Rope, oh no. Enhanced rope. Keep an eye, that should not attack, but just keep an eye as you grab this Thermite. With a big thing, we're just going to use a sword tooth so that it can come to us. So we're going to fight him one on one. So we're going to use a combination of charge attacks, fable, and dash. Similar to before, charge attack, get back. Charge attack, use fable, get back, get back, charge attack. The key thing is it's the hit and run tactic. And when we're running we are specifically backing away. At this point I'm gonna use a Legion ma I'm gonna use yeah, one Legion match should be enough. Uh, actually no. Let's use two. We've got plenty. But I wanna make sure we get the rope. Oh no, where's the dog? There's the dog. Hadn't moved. But yeah, we want to make sure we rope the carcass dogs, as they can otherwise be a problem. Grab the emergency protection. Grab the acid canister. Grab the dim ergo chunk by the statue. Back round on the other side of the cart, grab the Radiant Ergo, charge, pop, the carcass puppet, and then we've got one more diver. So we're going to throw a Sawtooth, get him away from those weirdo dog things, so we can dispatch. Okay. Up the stairs, originally this is where there were three puppets and this gate was locked, however that's now as you can see, very much not locked. Around the back, get a charge attack on the first spewer. If they're not seeing you, get a charge attack on the second one. And double checking my notes. Statue, yeah, big guy. Right. Before we fight him, use your grindstone. Get a a free enhanced rope attack. Get a fable. Get a charge. And we'll take the trade. So 
disable and attack. Charge attack. As always, charge attacks are just incredible. Uh, he drops a legion plug, which you don't have to pick up, it also picks up for you. Here, just be careful on the right, there is a hugger. Trigger him, and then just get further away than he's going to go. And here is a half moonstone. Head inside and fire up the Stargazer. Uh, do I carry on from it? Oh, I do. Okay, so let's have a rest. Up the stairs, we are going to spend a uh, significant amount of money here, somewhere in the region of 12,000. There's a fairy tale on the bar. Grab that, have a read for some lore, and I let's talk to, like to the wandering any. merchant. Even if the abnormal... Okay. Purchase the military shovel. That is normal weapon 25 of 29. Three converters. Three cheap shot puts. And three cheap carcass fluids. There we are. And now let's open the door to the lovely site that is uh, more of crap. Base close to Kron's central station. Maybe that's why the puppets were so hell bent on attacking the place. Just be the careful planet. of falling but off the edge. Those crystals, as well, if you so get close to those, they're to going to start impacting the radio disruption. Keep moving. What we're going to do first is we're going to lure out this kind of pot pen and then we can pop. <laughs> Grab the resplendent ergo. Come down. Pop this crystal. Swing. Swing. Grab the lover's letter. Have a read of that for a little bit of lull. Pop crystal number three. And enhanced rope. The weirdo diver. Once we get here, we're going to use a sawtooth, and that's going to lure the first one of these uh, slightly larger than average carcasses. And then, same for this one. Excuse me. Thank you. Done, we're gonna cross the bridge. Head left. Jump. Jump. Takes out that crystal. Rush here. Jump. Jump. Take out the crystal and take out the butterfly if you can. It's a balance crank, so you don't need it. Uh, right. Butterfly's balance crank. This left way, we're going to come here later 
to deal with a cryptic vessel. However, there's nothing really worth going there twice, so we'll come here later. We are going to equip our grindstone effect, come up quickly, take out this crystal, getting ready for this big O, and this Construct, charge, fable, charge, get the crit, or the fury attack, and then another charge, and then we're good. We're going to lure this diver, so that we, basically we're just avoiding situations where we could fall off the edge. Dark Souls fans will know all about gravity being one of the number one killers of players in games like this. Pop. The last crystal here. And now we're going to open this shortcut door. Back and drop. That's a shot put, I believe, and I believe correctly. And now we can come back round and up these stairs. Uh, upstairs. Yep. Here. Vivid Ergo. There's a note on the wall if you want to read that for some lore. Otherwise, come up the stairs. Here, pop the crystal. Grab the special purification ampule. And we're going to have a rather aggressive fight in here. So we're going to take advantage of our enhanced rope, fable. We're basically going to use all the tools in our possession uh, to deal with this. Rope and fable are definitely the key ones. Grindstone, in case we need to do some blocking. Rope, charge, fable, charge. And if you don't use this tactic, this fight goes very differently. However, with this tactic, as you've seen, the combination of rope, charge, fable is enough to stun pretty much everything apart from major bosses. Drops the arch heavyweight frame. which we will equip momentarily, but not quite yet. Out for a Radiant Ergo. Cross before the stairs to grab another Resplendent Ergo. Up the stairs and fire up the Stargazer. From here, we're going to walk back to the hotel. You would have noticed that we can talk to Belle because we have the note from her partner. Right. Housekeeping first, let's refill our fable. We got a legion plug, so now we can craft the last of the legion arms. For me, it's Deus Ex Machina. It might be the Falcon Eyes for you. Either way, create it. And that is trophy number 18, legion arm collector achieved. Congratulations. Talk to Bell. And this is very important. You must lie to her and say he was killed in action fighting a puppet. Not only will we gain the human points or humanity points to feel warmth, but we will get the record why. Good to see you. 
soldiers like me are blood. So give Do it to not me just mash, it, mash X. Is, <laughs> is my partner safe? He was killed in action fighting a puppet. This. It will not always give you those options in that order, which is why you can't just mash buttons for the decisions, because you can't guarantee it will always be on the left side. Sometimes you I need to stay alive anyway. And there we go, we feel warmth, and we get the record Y. Which we are immediately going to play. piece of music on this game. Let's head up and gather fruit. We need to spend some time while the record's playing anyway. Dim chunk. And three resplendent. What on earth was I expecting? Oh, it's because I didn't have as much in the shop, so just in case. Okay, I will stick with my notes. Three resplendent. Ergo. However, if you've got enough to level up, don't worry too much about that. Level up and let's get our capacity up to 30. Equip our extra heavyweight frame. And we're going to equip the fiber reinforced li liner, which boosts our slash defense the most. Waiting on the record, Strange. so it hurts so. No matter what, serving her, let's purchase sawtooth to get back to twenty. So that's six of those for me. Waiting for that record to finish. And we will feel the warmth as we gain more humanity points. Lovely. Warp to 9-4, the collapsed street, which is where we left off. We're going to find a new enemy, the cloaked cane enemies. There are two types. There are the annoying type, and then there are the strong annoying types. The strong annoying types have the electric canes. We're not going to deal with them quite yet. But what we're going to do, enhance rope. Back away, charge attack. That should get you your stagger. And... Sniper there, wait for the third round of bullets, or for him to stop, and then run. And we deal with that. Do we deal with the other downstairs guy? No, we just go straight upstairs. It's 
So, charge attack, back, charge attack, and then fatal. And in doing so, number two is going to come along, charge attack, back, charge attack. Oh, why did that not give me a stagger? Thank you. Maybe because I wasn't blocked behind. That would make some sense. Okay. Upstairs, walk, don't run. Charge attack. Charge attack. And a primer document on the side. Have a read of that for a little bit of lore out and left around the corner. Make sure that you've got puppet string ready for this as we're going to deal with a new type of fiery exploder enemy. Basically they breathe fire and they explode when they're defeated. Fiery exploder. Rush inside, drop the shortcut ladder. That takes us back to the stargazer. Stargazer is out to the right when we came inside was down and to the left. Come out here. Drop down. Grab the vivid ergo. Rope and bop. Fire exploded. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Keep going round for a vivid ergo. No, we already grabbed the big pivot. Okay. Drop down by the ladder and open this chest for the special supply box. Lovely. Back up the ladder, grab a dark moon moonstone. Use the pocket watch to warp to the hotel. Refill your fable if you need to, if you are full like I am. Head to no Polidina, add shop goods, this hand over the box, that's going to get us a vivid shop. ergo. No matter what fate brings us. Uh, spend or sell, both work fine. Four radiant ergo. And one dim ergo. No matter what fate serving her, welcome. Purchase the rusty cryptic vessel and a quartz. Head upstairs. Gather fruit since we're upstairs anyway. Should be one or two. One, that's fine. Just any time we go upstairs, might as well gather the fruit. Head in. And we're going to add the last quartz into add amulet slots too. And this one is going to be Ability, Charge Legion when eliminating an enemy, an enemy 2. So we're going to get back more Legion after we kill things. Lovely! With that, we have unlocked Phase 5, which means Trophy number 19, Extreme Potential, has just triggered. In our equipment, 
in the last slot, we are going to equip the carrier's amulet so that we can get nice and tanky. Equip the large capacity corrosion converter as that offers the best physical defense and the larder shock cartridge for maximum physical defense as well. Drop down. Head over to Vanini. Give him the cryptic vessel. I always welcome. Ah, oh, thank you. Why don't I hide the And he solves it. Head over, and that's the gate that we met Hugo in front of. That is now going to be open for us. And that's where we're going to go next. So teleport to chapter 8, 4, the Barren Swamp Bridge. And we're going to go on a little detour for a bunch of goodies. Uh, so I think we get two quartz, we get one weapon and a record from this area. So before we talk to Hugo and before we go in, we're going to end this video here. So, as always, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. It's helped you get this far in the game. I hope that your journey is going as well as, if not better, than mine. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, offer feedback, ask questions, anything I can do for you. I'm more than happy to help. And I would love it if you could drop a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel as well. It would mean the world to me, and you mean the world to me as well. So... A big thank you from me. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.